Hey YouTube, so I found this article here. This woman, Margaret Wente, interviewed a Kurdish-Swedish economist whose name is Tino Sanandaji. And Mr. Sanandaji is himself an immigrant and economist who was born in Iran and moved to Sweden when he was 10. He has a doctorate in economics from the University of Chicago and specializes in immigration issues. Okay, and he says there has been a lack of integration among non-European refugees. 48% of immigrants are of working age don't work. After 15 years in Sweden, their employment rates reach only about 60%. Sweden has the biggest employment gap in Europe between natives and non-natives. In Sweden, where equality is revered, inequality is now entrenched. 42% of the long-term unemployment are immigrants. 58% of welfare payments go to immigrants. 45% of children with low test scores are immigrants. Immigrants, on average, earn less than 40% of Swedes. The majority of people charged with murder, rape, and robbery are either first- or second-generation immigrants. Since the 1980s, Sweden has had the largest increase in inequality of any country in the OECD. Okay, It goes on to state that Sweden's fantasy is that if you socialize the children of immigrants, and refugees correctly, they'll grow up to be just like native Swedes. But it hasn't worked out that way. Much of the second generation lives in nice Swedish welfare ghettos. The social strains, white flight, a general decline in trust, are growing worse. 